Okay, welcome back to the JNS YouTube channel. Um, we get inundated with um, emails and telephone calls uh, with people wanting to know how to take visors off the helmets. Doesn't really, it's not really that clear in the instructions in the boxes and people lose the instructions, so uh, that's what we're going to focus on today. In particular, we've got a request for uh, this one here, Frank Thomas FLH01. It's a flip-up helmet and it's not obvious how the visor comes off, so we're going to concentrate on this one today. Okay, so like we said earlier, we're going to show you now how to remove the visor from a Frank Thomas FLH01 helmet. This little black part here has got to come off, okay? Now, you're going to do it from this edge here. Here, there's a little gap. It's very hard to see, but if you get a really fine screwdriver, flat-bladed screwdriver, you're going to be able to get it in there. Now... We're going to be obviously uh, aware that we might damage the paintwork there, so if you've got some masking tape, put a bit of masking tape over there like that, just to protect the colour. If you haven't, I'm using a bit of um, paper. We're going to insert the, the flat bladed screwdriver into the little slot at the back, and we're just going to pop it up like that, okay? That then removes, it's on three clips, you can see the little slot at the back, that removes off the helmet. You can see there, there's no damage on the helmet at all, but the paper has taken a little bit of a hit. That's why we need to use either masking tape or paper or anything like that, anything you've got to hand, just to protect the helmet, you know, the paintwork. We're then going to expose this screw here. This screw's got to come out. So it's a Phillips type screw, cross head screw. Okay, so we undo that anti-clockwise. And just do that now. Once that's all the way out, you can remove it like so. Keep the little tab washer off, on, sorry. That'll enable that to come out, and there you can see the visor, okay? Literally, just lift that visor off that black lug there. It's a bit fiddly, especially when you're trying to not block the view for the camera, but uh, off it comes, yeah? Okay? So that's how you take the visor off. Obviously, exactly the same on the other side. The visor is going to come off to change, to clean, whatever it is you want to do. To put it back on, all we're going to do is reverse the process. So we're going to slide it onto there like that. We're going to put this cover back on like that. We're going to get that screw. There is two little notches on that uh, washer that we were talking about that locate to two little uh, bits on that base plate. Okay, so just make sure they line up so that everything goes back nice and neatly. Tighten that up, don't over tighten it. There's no need to over tighten it. Okay, just a uh, little bit of pressure on that. And then we're gonna hook this locator in first at the front and then press down with either side and click into place. And that's it then, the visor is removed. Okay, so I hope that was useful, I hope that was helpful. Any other videos that you want us to do on removing visors from helmets, just drop us a little message um, and we'll get on it straight away for you.